Hello everybody, today I'm filming an Into the Woods nail art tutorial. If you haven't heard of Into the Woods, it's a musical and it involves fairy tales and four different stories. But today I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of each story on my nail art. Now on these nails, I've already prepped them a little bit with a deep, deep blue color by Julep. And this is one of my favorite colors. It's just a really pretty deep blue. And that is the background color for all of my nails. Then on the bottom I have a green color and this is going to be the grassy knoll for all of my nails. So that it looks like the forest is resting on something instead of just floating in the middle of the air. I'm going to just take this brush and swipe it across. I'm not using any type of special tools to make different shapes of swipes for these hills. Now, it's really easy to do that and you don't need any type of skill at all. And I'm just making sure I do a couple of layers on each nail so that they're opaque and you can't see them through the blue. Next I'm taking this brown color also by Julep and I'm going to be creating the trees with it. And this is a Trina Turk color which I don't think they make anymore by Julep but you can find all of their nail polishes on julep.com and I love their nail polishes they're for free which means they don't have formaldehyde and yucky things like that in them so they're much better for you than other supermarket nail polishes it's really easy to make these trees I'm just swiping down with just a minimal amount of nail polish on this paintbrush and I start with kind of a Y at the top and then work my way down adding branches as I see fit. They really don't have to look similar or anything alike at all because this is a forest. No two trees are 100% alike. So I'm just adding a few branches here and there to make it look a little bit more realistic and trying to keep in mind my spacing as I go into later trees for the different objects I'm going to be adding for each character later on. So I'm going to do a Jack and the Beanstalk, Little Red Riding Hood, Cinderella, and a Rapunzel nail to represent each of the main four stories from Into the Woods. This is the nail striper I use, and I like this one um, particularly for this design because one, it's nice sparkly shimmery silver, two, it has this really thin nail pot nail brush on the end that's shorter than the regular ones that come in. And I'm just going to make an obelisk, which is a long rectangle with a little triangle on top. And I'm just drawing that on the nail um, with a little short stroke so that I don't go over too far with my nail polish. And I'm just going to fill that in. And then once I've done that, I'm going to let it dry for a little bit because next I'd like to add in Rapunzel's hair. So it looks like she is dangling her hair out of the tower and that's going to be a yellow streak down the nail. This color is also from Julep and I love the sparkles in this color, it's so pretty. I'm just gonna make a big dot on here and that's gonna be the carriage for Cinderella's carriage as she goes to the ball. Then I'm gonna take this nail dotting tool. I got this off Amazon for less than a dollar for a set of six and I'm gonna go on the bigger end of the two and just make two more dots. So it looks like an upside down Mickey head if it's facing me. And then one more dot on the top just to add a little bit of decoration to it. Next I'm going to take this red to make Little Red Riding Hood's cape. And it's just going to be one big dot here towards the top with a little bit of a line coming down. Because I don't really want to do a face or anything like that. She's just going to be peeking out behind the tree. So one big dot here, fill it in a little bit. And then it'll be one line straight down next to the tree. And you do want to get it as close to the tree as possible so that it looks like she is kind of behind the tree. And that's it. These are really simple designs to do. There's not much involved, so you can easily do this at home. Next, I'm taking this yellow color, which is awfully thick, but I want it that way to cover up the silver and the green. And I'm just drawing a kind of squiggly line down to look like Rapunzel's hair. Then I'm taking this white, and this is a nail art, and I get these at the dollar store. And this is a very long striper in comparison to the silver, which you'll see here in just a second. And I'm going to write out on my thumbnail into the wood, 
um, for the movie title um, on my thumb. So it's going to get fast forward here in a second so you can see that because it does take me quite some time. A trick when you're doing lettering is to do blocky letters when you're starting and then also to do O's. Take your dotting tool and dip it in and do one big dot. Then take the smaller end and dip it in the original color that was on the nail to make the center. So then it looks like you didn't really do that much work and it's a pretty perfect circle. So that's what I'm doing here to make those O's look a little bit better because I hand drew it the first time and that wasn't as easy. And then this is my finished design. So I have Rapunzel's hair here, I've got Cinderella's carriage, I've got Little Red Riding Hood, and I'm into the woods on my thumb. I do want to add something on the snail and I think I'm going to do the Jack and the Beanstalk, but unfortunately my camera died so you don't get to see me do the full thing, but I just add a Beanstalk which is a really really dark um, green which doesn't come up very well on the camera, and then I add some clouds above it because Jack always climbs up into the clouds and all the stores, and I'm going to use this green to do that. This is another one of those dollar store nail art stripers. And that's where my video cut out. And here I'm just adding top coat to all my nails. Um, add top coat when they're dry, try to give them at least two to five minutes, and uh, trick is you can put a big dollop on and swipe it down and that helps you not to smear or smoosh the paint around as much. And here we're going to take a final look and you can kind of see that thumbnail. I don't really show it off that much, um, but you can see a little bit of a better close-up of all the nails and what they look like. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe and like my video. I do plan on doing at least two of these a week, and my next one will be a New Year's Eve nail polish tutorial. So here's the final design, and I'm going to go see this movie in a couple days, and I'll let you all know how it is. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a magical day. Ta-ta for now!